Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can rename items in the list in QuickBooks Online. You can also merge two list items in QuickBooks Online into one list item. Merging list items lets you fix mistakes that can happen when multiple people perform data entry in lists. For example, assume you own a landscaping company and created a service in your products and services list for mowing. Later, another employee creates a new service for mow lawn, not realizing you had already created that service. You can then merge the mow lawn service into the mowing service to consolidate the services. Merging employees with existing payroll data is not allowed. Also, products with quantity on hand tracking cannot be merged. To rename list items in QuickBooks Online, open the editing pane of the list item to rename. Then change the name of the item. Then save your changes in the editing pane to instantly change the item's name. Alternatively, to merge an item with another item in the same list requires you to know the exact name of the item to keep. Also, if merging customers or vendors, you must change the display name field to the exact same thing as the existing item to keep as QuickBooks Online uses the display name as the matching field. However, the process is essentially the same as renaming items. To merge list items in QuickBooks Online, open the editing pane of the list item to rename and merge. Then change the name and possibly the display name value of the item so it is exactly the same as the name of the item with which to merge the item. Then save the changes in the editing window to then open a new window that says that name is already being used, would you like to merge the two? To merge the items, click Yes to merge the two items into one. Alternatively, to cancel the merge, click No. Alternatively, to easily merge contacts in your customers list, vendors list, or employees list in QuickBooks Online, Click the name of the contact entry to merge into another entry to view its detail page. Then click the drop down arrow on the Edit button in the upper right corner of the page and select the Merge Contacts command to open the Merge Contacts window. The name of the current record appears in the Merge Transactions From drop down. You can change this if needed by selecting a different choice from this drop down. Note that you should save any details from the selected contact if desired, as those details will be deleted when the selected contact is merged. Next, use the Into dropdown to select the list item into which to merge the first list item. Then click the Merge Contacts button in the lower right corner of the window to finish the merge. Alternatively, to cancel the merge, click the Cancel button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.